Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we will continue as always our A1 grammar session. So we have a new topic today. We learned before that the cases, which are for now accusative and dative, are changing according to the verbs that do something with or to the object. For example, we say in English, I call him. We don't say, I call he. This is just one example to make it more easier to visualize this kind of grammar. But now we have to add another information to the mix because not only the verbs are important for deciding if we use dative or accusative, but something else. Let's check it out. The topic here is Präpositionen mit Dative. Prepositions that need Dative. Of course, there are much more combinations, but this is a one level. And therefore, you can see it almost as an introduction. And I'll be honest, you have to learn it by heart. So we have here the first prepositions, which are all A1, of course. And we will read them and try to understand what they mean. First one is aus. Aus, we can say from in English. We can be from somewhere. So we need a location. Aus München, aus Tunesien, from Munich, from Tunisia. So I am from somewhere or I call from somewhere or many other combinations. Another one is the material. For example, aus Glas, out of or from glass. Next one, by. By is translatable a little bit like at and we have here the first usage which is ort again place by meinen eltern by hamburg so it is at my parents at hamburg we cannot say ich komme aus meinen eltern another one is for time zeit by nacht at night. Next one, mit. Mit, you can translate it as with. Mit needs or can need Art und Weise, the way something is done. So causal, for example, mit dir, with you. Mit Glück, with luck. So how is something done? And the second one is an instrument. This is more common. In A1 German, for example, mit dem Auto, mit einem Messer, with the car or with a knife. So in this case, it's not only with, it is also by. For example, I go by car to work. Ich fahre mit dem Auto zur Arbeit. Next one, seit. This is a little easier. It is time related. For example, seit einem Jahr. You can translate it with since. So, since one year or for a year. Nach, towards, can of course mean for a location. Towards is, so to speak, the opposite of from. Nach Köln, nach Italien to or towards Cologne, towards Italy, but it can also be time-related, nach dem Konzert, which makes it after the concert. The opposite, by the way, for after is for. It also needs dative, but they don't list it here for some reason. Next one, von. Von means, again, like the first one, from but it's not quite the same. Von der Universität or von dort, which makes it from the university or from there. 
The next one is used when we talk about something somebody did. So from an actor, so from a trigger, for example, von dir, von einem Freund. It's also from, but it's a little bit also by. For example, if you use it like this, ich wurde von einem Freund angerufen. I have been called by a friend. So this is really good for later when you learn the passive. But of course, you can make an easier sentence. For example, das ist ein Geschenk von mir. This is a present from me. Next one is zu. It's also location related. This means also at zu Paul, zu Hause. This also can mean at, but also towards. Of course, it depends on the verb you're using. If you're using a verb of movement or not. For example, you can say, ich fahre zu Paul. Ich fahre zu Paul means I'm going or I'm driving to Paul. But you cannot say, ich fahre by Paul. This is not correct because by is definitely an at situation. Somewhere where you are located and you're doing something. It's not possible to use, I'm going at Paul. It doesn't work. Ich fahre nach, towards, also doesn't work. Because it is not a place. Paul is a person. So we have to keep in mind some combinations might sound right. But after a lot of practice and some other rules, which we will check out, of course, maybe next lesson, you will see there are some regulations and you will learn them also. So the only option we can say, ich fahre zu Paul. And you can also make the sentence longer. Ich fahre zu Paul nach Hause. Then you have two prepositions. I'm going to Paul to his home. And the last one, gegenüber means at the opposite side or at the opposite. And it's also here for locations. We can see it here. Dem Hotel gegenüber. This is one of the rare cases, at least for A1, that the preposition is at the end, or let's say after the object. So at the opposite of the hotel, it means. And here we have some information also. Manchmal sind diese Präpositionen mit dem Artikel verbunden. Sometimes we connect the preposition with the article. Not always, of course. By dem becomes beim, or von dem is vom, zu dem, zum, zu der, zur. Those are really common ways to make it shorter. Don't let it confuse you. We will go to an exercise and we will see how you do that. So put the endings into the blanks. Okay, you can press pause and try this exercise. Okay, let's check it out. Ich fahre mit dem Taxi nach Hause. Mit in this case means by or with the cab. Paul fährt mit dem Taxi nach Hause. Paul goes home by using a cab or with a cab. Maria wohnt seit einem Jahr in Wien. Maria lives in Vienna for a year or since a year. Ich hole das Paket von der Post ab. I get the parcel from the post office. Wann gehst du morgens aus dem Haus? When or what time are you leaving from your home? Are you going out of your home? Aus? Wohin gehst du nach dem Essen? Where are you going after eating? Hol bitte den Wein aus dem Keller. Please get the wine out of the basement. Now you can see that sometimes we have now two objects. Den Wein is of course accusative. And then we have aus den and aus dem needs dative. 
So slowly but steady, you will be able to make more complicated and longer sentences with more information in them. And we have a second exercise, but this time you have to put in the preposition. Please press pause and try to do it. Paul geht mit dem Hund spazieren, with the dog. We have it here. How, in what way? So with you, with him, with the dog. Diese Tomaten kommen aus Spanien. Those tomatoes come from Spain. Ich wohne seit drei Monaten in Passau. I live in Passau for three months. Die Tankstelle liegt dem Parkhaus gegenüber. The gas station is on the opposite side of the parking lot. Here it is easy to see because we saw it before. It's the only one where it is after the object and not before. Wie viel Geld hast du bei dir? How much money do you carry or do you have with you? Kannst du mich vom, so it's the same as von dem, Flughafen abholen. Can you pick me up from the airport? Maria will nicht mit mir in Urlaub fahren. Maria doesn't want to go to vacations or to go have vacations with me, mit mir. Thank you so much for your support. This is it for today. I hope you learned something new. Next time we will continue. I will give you some rules, some regulations to make it easier for you. Please like and subscribe, leave a follow on Instagram. And of course, you can write in the comments some ideas, exercises, feedback, whatever you want to. I will see you very soon. Bye.